Okay, I seem to be in a class where there are no students yet. Somehow the only student who entered just now has been removed by Google Meet and I do not know why. So I'm still going to proceed. Um, and probably I'll just wait and see whether there are any students who will enter later on. But basically, the plan is for us to discuss our Form 5 mid-year reading examination for the 5 Pro class. I plan to have this Google Sheet here shared with them for us to discuss the answers. I think I can hear one person entering. And I wonder who that person is. Nope, no one has entered yet. It does seem like it has been quite a while now. And yeah, so I wonder if I will get anyone entering. I'm just going to ask them, Mafuza, what happened? And let's just wait. So this is probably... Assalamualaikum. I don't know why, but somehow Mafuza has um, been kicked out. So who is this? Adam. Adam. Nadira is supposed to enter. Okay, I'll try to see whether... Okay, Mafuza has internet connection problems. We will see. Okay, never mind. Okay, people who have already entered, uh, today the plan is for us to discuss our media examination question paper. I hope that you are ready. Um, are you using laptop or phone? Can I just have some responses? Phone. Adam is using phone. Aina guna laptop? Handphone. Handphone. Okay, so uh. most of you are using handphone eh? Uh, later on, kejap lagi, I plan to give you um examination paper daripada Budak Form 4. I think I want to share with you soalan Form 4 for you to try out today and see whether you can get better score daripada yang awak score untuk Form 5 exam. But um, I will also give you a PDF version. Yang bentuk PDF tu is better kalau you tengok dekat laptop. Then you can see mana yang saya letak correct, mana saya letak wrong. Kejap lagi, I show you. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to start right now. How many people do we have? I've got Adam, Aina, Imanda, Mahfuza, Nadira and Shakila. Okay, I will just start. Siapa yang baru masuk tu later on nanti you let me know kalau diorang tak dapat masuk eh. Um, okay, I'll, I guess I'll just start off with Assalamualaikum and a very good uh, afternoon. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh teacher. Okay, um, how did you find your examination? How was the online examination experience? Was it good? Did you find any difficulties? Paper tu, susah sikit. Writing eh? Ah, writing. Writing paper was difficult for you? Yes. Well, probably that, that should be because we haven't done enough uh, exercise. But kalau dari segi exercise yang saya bagi tu banyak. It's just that probably the one that you send to, uh, it depends on you lah whether you have written anything or not. Um, okay, never mind. For today, my plan is to discuss uh, soalan reading. Boleh eh? I want to do, uh, do discussion for reading first sebab there are some issues. Ada some problems regarding capital letter and small letter yang saya nak uh, address the issue eh. Okay, so... Can you just like respond to me whether you can see soalan media exam awak ni nampak tak on Google form? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, 
Do you suppose like I should give you a blank copy untuk awak refer ataupun awak rasa tengok dekat screen dah cukup? Do you want your own blank copy? Or just looking at the screen awak rasa awak dah boleh tak cari jawapan? Um, blank copy sekali tu. Saya bagi copy eh. Okay hmm. I'm just going to make a copy right now. Um, this will be a blank copy lah. Just untuk awak check uh, soalannya apa. Okay so that uh, you tak adalah blur and you tak tahu what's happening. Okay so I'll just make a copy right now. And when you get this copy you can actually uh, just go straight to the question kita bincang. Dia tak ada section section eh. You can go straight to the question that we are discussing. So I'm going to send this link right now. Um, on your Google Meet chat. Pada Google Meet chat. Right now eh sekarang. So what I expect you to do adalah tekan pada uh, Google Form ni and then terus straight pergi pada soalan yang kita nak bincang. Alright. Do you have access to the Google Form? Yes. Okay once you dah dapat buka Google Form tu click on raise your hand feature dekat Google Meet. So that saya tahu siapa yang dah, siapa yang belum. Alright. Okay, Adam Syauki dan Imanda dan Taufik dan anyone else? Aina dan Shakila. Mahfuza, is there any problem? Mahfuza seems to be having a problem. Try to solve the problem eh. Okay, so most of you have already opened the Google form. Um, so sambil we discuss, you can actually just open the Google form on your own. Supaya awak tak, tak uh, lost lah. Okay, so I think what I want to do first adalah just uh, talk you through the process of answering. I think among the question yang memberi kita problem last time, okay macam kalau I, I go down here. Starting from part one, I don't think there is a problem. I will just perlu tekan A, B, C, A, B, C only. Okay. And then it is only until the part where you have to insert the uh, letter, kalau tak silap. If you remember, awak kena masukkan letter eh. I'll show you right now. And then kita go straight kepada soalan tu dulu. Because I think ada masalah uh, technical kat situ. Okay, this is it. Um... Starting from question number 33 kalau tak silap saya. That's where the problem happens. Okay. Question number 33. Okay so kalau boleh right now everyone um, of you, you you dah have access to the Google form yang kosong tadi. You can go straight kepada question number 33. Arahannya adalah. Okay are we ready to do the discussion? Dah bersedia eh? Awak dah buka part 5 tak? Are you able to open part 5? Nak tengok dekat yeah. screen pun boleh. Yeah. You can actually like see on the screen. Screen pun nampak juga. Okay, I I jump straight to part 5 because the problem is there. Masa I do my discussion dengan 5 SK3, masalahnya dekat part 5. Okay, so kita baca arahan dahulu. Which paragraph A to F describes the following experiences of community service? Jadi masa awak jawab, when you answer, bila awak jawab dekat uh, number 33, apa yang awak masukkan? Did you put A, B, C, D, E, F or do you put Shah 16 years old, Julie 14 years old? Awak ingat tak? Do you remember? Uh, A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, siapa yang buat A, B, C, D, E, F awak selamat. Although kita tak bincang lagi jawapan awak betul ke tidak. But siapa yang tulis Shah, 16 years old, Julie, 14 years old, awak tidak baca arahan dengan betul. Okay. I don't know how it's going to be like for SPM tapi untuk pada Google Form kita arahannya adalah which paragraph? Paragraph A ke? Paragraph B ke? Paragraph C ke? So apa-apa yang you do before exam, baca arahan soalan dahulu. Is that clear? Okay. So sekarang kita nak bincang jawapan eh. We are going to discuss the answer. Okay. Um... Which paragraph A to F describes the following experiences of community service? Okay, soalan nombor 33. Okay, I'll try to make it larger. Dia kata, I did not enjoy the work initially. 
saya tidak enjoy the work initially. Awak kena tahu maksud initially dulu. Apa maksud initially? Uh, pada mulanya. Awal. Pada, okay good. Pada mulanya. Pada mulanya ataupun pada asalnya. Jadi siapa yang pada asalnya dia tidak enjoy kerja tersebut. Okay, we're going to start uh, reading from above here. Do you remember your answer? We can go straight there. Kalau awak, awak ingat jawapan awak, we can actually like go straight there. Siapa yang rasa dia mula-mula dia tak suka? Otherwise, we have to read from the beginning eh. Kalau tak, kita kena baca daripada awal lah. Perkataan initially sama dengan perkataan apa yang ada pada kita punya teks. Okay, kita pergi one person at a time eh. Okay, I think how we do this is by uh, reading from one person to one person. So, kita start daripada Shah, 16 years old dulu. Um, can I quickly get a reader please? This is reading paper, kita kena read. We have to read. Um, okay, saya randomly select eh, a person. I'm going to start off with Adam tadi. I heard Adam punya microphone tadi macam okay je. Adam? Okay. Aisha, 16 years old. Opportunities to volunteer are everywhere. Even right in our own backyard. I started with something that I really believe and have an interest in. In joining a project that give free tuition to the little kids from a few poor families in my neighborhood. That experience taught me to be more compassionate. Okay, perkataan keyword dia eh Adam. Uh, keyword untuk Shah ni adalah perkataan compassionate. Okay, so uh, if I google right now maksud perkataan compassionate, siapa yang dah tahu boleh beritahu saya. Compassionate ni apa? It says here feeling or showing sympathy and concern for others. Showing sympathy. Jadi sekarang, can we get the answer? Boleh tak kita dapatkan jawapan untuk Shah ni, kan? Kat mana yang kita nak letak? Dia kata sympathy. Which one? 35. Okay, so number 35, I sympathize with the unfortunate in my area. Sympathize sama dengan uh, compassionate. Nampak tak dia punya triknya bila awak jawab paper reading, awak kena tahu sinonim. Kalau awak tak tahu sinonim, kita susah nak jawab. Okay, so compassionate sama dengan sympathy. And then unfortunate tadi sama dengan apa? Dekat teks ni. Unfortunate. Unfortunate ni lucky or unlucky? Unlucky. Unlucky. Jadi mungkin perkataan poor family ni samalah dengan unfortunate. Orang yang tidak bernasib baik. Jadi for number 35, the answer should have been, kita okay, tengok, A. Okay, um, the teacher who has made this Google form was kind enough untuk accept kalau awak letak A kecil tau. But by right it should have been A capital letter sebab apa pada teks Letternya adalah capital letter. So saya rasa sepatutnya awak letak capital letter lah. So right now we're going to check your answer. This is number 35 eh. Saya jump straight kepada number 35. You nampak kan saya punya Google Sheet right now. Can you see my Google Sheet? Yes. Okay. So we we are going to go to number 35. I just want to show you dari segi validity of the Google form. Valid tak apa yang awak, awak jawab ni? Okay. Um. So question number 35, awak sepatutnya jawab A. Oh, nampak tak some of your friends have not answered A. Dia kata the, not, the paragraph. Put the paragraph. So awak letak je lah A. Paragraph A. So siapa yang jawab D. Amelia. A. Shah 16 years old. E. Jeremy. E. Jeremy. Special occasion pula tiba-tiba I don't know mana dia dapat. Okay A. A sahaja. Bukan A ada Shah pula kat situ. Sebab dia tanya which paragraph. Jelas tak? Is it is it clear? Yes. Uh -uh. So jawapan awak sepatutnya A sahaja. Sebab dia tanya which paragraph A hingga F describes the following experiences. Jadi hanya beberapa orang ni sajalah yang betul. Number one, two. Siapa yang jawab A Shah ni pun salah. A sahaja yang kita terima. So antara people who got it right, 
I'm not going to go through everyone lah tapi nampak macam ramai yang salah tu. Okay um so orang dua orang yang pertama ni lah. Dua orang yang pertama uh, got it right. If I go there we will we'll see Mahfuzah dengan Taufik um, question number 35 dia dapat betul. Sebab dia tahu macam cara nak jawab. Okay so I know that some of you you tahu jawapan. You know the answer tapi dari segi arahan you tak baca dengan betul. Itu je lah masalah dia. Okay so now I'm going to move to the next question. Soalan seterusnya. Maybe after this bila saya bagi awak soalan exam form 4 untuk reading you boleh try untuk check whether you boleh dapat markah yang lebih baik setelah dah tahu strategi. Okay. Okay question number uh, let's go to the next person Julie. Can I get um, a girl to try and read for Julie right now? Uh, maybe can we get Aina? Jarang saya dengar Aina punya reading. Can I get Aina to do the reading? Okay. Yang mana yang Julie Julie When I was younger I had out at the Nearby animal Center Nearby Nearby oh, Nearby Animal Center At At, at first I did didn't know many people there and was was very enthusiastic enthusiastic later as I got to know the animals and staff members I learned how to enjoy my time there every now and then I go over the feet the animals and play with them. It is very beneficial and get new experience doing things that I I never done before. Okay. Um. Alright. So perkataan uh, yang probably you you need to check back macam awak cak, uh, sebut pronounce, pronunciation awak tu. Okay. Saya baca sejak sekali lalu awak just like take note. Mana yang mungkin awak boleh improve eh. When I was younger I helped out at a nearby animal, animal shelter. At first I didn't know many people there and wasn't very enthusiastic. Enthusiastic ni adalah dia punya keyword dia. Awak dah boleh tahu dah uh, yang mana satu yang yang sejak lagi awak patut jawab. Later, as I got to know the animals and staff members, I learned how to enjoy my time there. Every now and then, I go over to feed the animals and play with them. It is very beneficial and I get new experiences doing things that I've never done before. Okay, so keyword dia adalah at first, I didn't know many people there and wasn't very enthusiastic. So siapa yang cakap ni? Mana satu? Kawan ni kita nak letak Julie. At first, wasn't very enthusiastic. Anyone would like to tell me enthusiastic maksud dia apa? Semangat. Bersemangat. Okay, awak dah tahu. You already know. So, enthusiastic maksudnya um, bersemangat. Dan dia kata at dia first, tidak. dia tidak semangat. So, which one? 33. 33. Okay, so Julie, awak akan letak dia dekat 33. Tapi since Julie tu adalah B tau. Julie adalah paragraph B. Jadi awak cuma perlu letak B sahaja. Okay for number 33 awak letak B as the answer. Kita terima B kecil. Kita stop. You know that some of you, you tahu jawapan but maybe you tersalah cara. Cara menjawab tu. Okay so if we go to question number 33 right now eh. The answer should have been B. 33 B. Again uh, Mahfuza and Taufik dua orang yang jawab dengan betul B. Ada ada juga orang yang jawab E. Jeremy. E. Jeremy salah. So it should have been B. Ramai juga yang salah. Maksudnya awak tak, tak faham teks ke macam mana. Okay. Yang ini siapa yang jawab B. Julie 14 years old. Um, kita tak terima lah sebab kita tak perlu the information about Julie 14 years old tu. Kita just perlu B tu saja sebagai jawapan awak. So next time bila awak jawab paper reading, baca arahan dulu. Kalau arahan minta 
paragraf berapa bagi nombor paragraf tu A, B, C, D ataupun letter untuk paragraf tu So siapa yang jawab Julie tengok, Julie sepatutnya kan nama orang kan J, J kecil pun dah salah dah kat situ Okay, so um, I believe that the Google Form punya score adalah valid Okay, so, kalau siapa yang question Google Form punya score saya rasa dia dah valid dah ni Okay, so kalau kita kira right now we have how many people eh Yang betul I'm just going to highlight first And then you boleh tengok lah how many people got it right Not because you tak tahu jawapan but because you um, Dari segi strategi tu je Okay so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 6 people out of 24 managed to get the answer accurate Dengan tepat eh dia minta um, B as a paragraph So I hope that by now you dah tahu sedikit sebanyak tentang strategi lah untuk jawab paper reading Okay moving on kita bergerak kepada the next question Maybe we can go to the next person, orang seterusnya eh Iaitu Hock Lim, 17 years old baru kita cari Hock Lim nak letak dekat mana Okay can I get a next person please? Uh, maybe I can hear from a boy now uh, Can I get Rizwan? I haven't heard from you for quite a while Is your microphone okay Rizwan? Uh, yeah Okay can I ask you to uh, read this Uh, C, C paragraph, Hock Lim uh, I go to an old folks home as a volunteer and spend time with the resident there Sometimes my friend and I go there after school Listening to the stories about their past experience Has taught us some useful life lessons Once in a while we bring along a guitar to entertain them Okay, uh, I was about experiences This is experiences sebab ada banyak. Okay, kalau satu saja experience. Okay, good. I don't think Rizwan is among those people who have any problem with pronunciation but itu saja eh. Experiences tu jawab kena uh, take note. Kalau banyak experiences, kalau experience satu je tak payah sebut dia punya um, ES tu. Memang takkan ada S pun. Alright, so Hock Lim ni, where are we going to put him? Uh, keyword, kita kena cari keyword dulu uh, Has taught us some useful life lessons Saya beritahu kau awak keyword and then you will terus cari lah actually Where do we put Hock Lim? 34 36 Itu je option yang ada I organize my work by myself Ataupun I get input to have a better understanding of the world Yang mana? Is it 34 or 36? Which one do you think? Okay so Hock Lim tadi C kan? Hock Lim tadi paragraph C right? So we're going to check right now. Awak kata 36 kan? Yes. So um, number 36 jawapan dia adalah Hock Lim. Tapi awak kena letak C sahaja. You have to put the letter C. So we're going to see right now. 36 jawapan dia adalah C. And then again uh, problems yang kita hadapi adalah you letakkan sekali Shah Julie, so that should not have been the case. So it should have just been C sahaja. So again, Mahfuzah dengan Taufik dapat uh, teknik yang betul. And then there's another person here. Nanti I I will check lah who it is. But so far maksudnya siapa yang jawab uh, letter sahaja yang betul. Letter C like this. Those are among the people yang akan betul lah. Siapa yang jawab C Hock Lim, C Hock Lim ni um, We do not accept it sebab kita minta number paragraph sahaja So again, sila baca soalan dengan tepat lah eh Alright, done Okay, so uh, maybe we can just go through one more Satu lagi uh, The next one yang kita akan check adalah number 34 I organize my work by myself So keyword dia adalah by myself dan probably perkataan organize kalau awak nampak Okay so who is it yang organize work dia sendiri? Anyone? Aida Aida, okay Why do you say Aida? Kenapa awak kata jawapan dia Aida? Keyword, give me the keyword Dia kata setting up community project Dia kata setting up community project dan how do you know dia dia buat sendiri? Sebab so other people, other oh, Wait, 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 wait. Hmm. I wanted to support my local library so I set up 
Hmm. A story corner. Okay. So, dia seorang-seorang oh. kan? Right. She's the only one. Dia organize yeah. sendiri, right? Sebab other people, other people dia kata I in, I've been involved in community service. Ada yang kata dia minta parents tolong and so on. So, Aida is the only person yang set up sendiri. Okay. So, uh, most probably your answer is correct lah. It should have been F untuk number 34. Yeah. F for number 34. Okay. So, again, if I go to number 34 right now. I guess since this is our first experience lah sebab ni pengalaman pertama kan awak uh, jawab exam online so we do not get that many people who have answered correctly. Okay so the answer should have been F. F like this. Yeah line two we do not count as the correct answer line. F. Okay. So other a few people who have managed to answer uh, in the correct manner dalam kaedah yang betul. F like that. Okay, but never mind. Since this is our first attempt, I don't think you should be too worried about it. Saya rasa dalam real SPM, insyaAllah you can answer correctly. Okay, so how many people in total that we got correct? So, Mahfuzah and Taufik tadi atas ni dua tak dapat eh. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven people yang betul untuk question number 34. Okay, so now moving on, I think yang penting for us to discuss adalah the one yang um, require you to answer your own answer. Okay, below here, yang bawah ni, yang type your own answer ni. Ini yang saya nak kena bincang. What could be the answer which is correct and if you answer something, boleh tak saya terima? Can I accept? If I can accept, saya nak kena tambah you punya score. Tadi dengan budak 4 account, saya dah tambah satu markah untuk soalan yang terakhir. Question number 40. Yang lain kita dah decide memang tak boleh terima. So I I need to know whether kita boleh terima some of your answers. So kita kena bincang lah. We have to discuss. Okay. Um, number 37 eh. And then kejap lagi baru kita tengok. Number 37, apa some of you have answered and yang mana yang kita nak terima. Which one do we uh, accept? Okay. Question number 37, dia kata Those who are interested in working with animals should help out at the or zoo. Arahan dia, complete the notes below using information from the text. Choose no more than one word. Maksudnya awak kena pilih satu perkataan je. You cannot have more than one word. Kejap lagi dekat soalan form 4, exam form 4, dia kata no more than two words. Jadi awak follow lah. Kalau dia kata no more than two words, dua saja. Kalau dia kata no more than one word, satu sajalah. Okay. So you kena baca arahan betul-betul. So kat sini we uh, we accept one word only. Okay. Choose no more than one word. From the passage, maksudnya, mestilah daripada teks. It has to be from the text here. Bukan uh, perkataan ciptaan awak sendiri. Alright? Okay. So right now, what is the answer? Those who are interested in working with animals could help out at a or zoo. Siapa yang ada cakap pasal animal tadi? Kita tengok kat atas ni. Julie. Julie ada cakap pasal animal. Jadi perkataan apa yang awak nak pilih daripada Julie punya ni? Can I get the answer please? Shelter. shelter. Okay, shelter eh. So kita check dulu jawapan uh, on Google Forms skema dia apa. Number 37. It says here shelter. And do you notice shelter tu boleh tak ada S capital letter? Can we have S capital letter? Untuk no. shelter? Kenapa tak boleh? Why not? Hmm. Why not? Kenapa tak boleh S capital letter? It is in the middle of? Kat sini dia dekat tengah-tengah ayat kan? It is in the middle of a sentence. Mana boleh ada tiba-tiba capital letter in the middle of a sentence dan dia bukan kata nama khas pun. Okay? It is not a um a, a proper noun. Okay? So you kena make sure that dia adalah S small letter. Okay? Okay so we're going to check right now. Okay, uh, Taufik and Mahfuza orang pertama yang jawab just now, they got it correct. So, dua orang ni betul. I don't know kenapa pula ada orang jawab part, I don't know why. Part, part sesuai ke? Boleh terima tak? Part, those who are interested in working with animals could help out at a part. Do you mean park? Tapi yang jawab part ni mungkin nak maksud awak park kot. Number 37. Park. But uh, do we accept kalau awak jawab park? I don't know why some people have answered part. 
help out at a part. It doesn't make sense. Okay, so siapa yang jawab part? Wrong lah. So sekarang we want to know siapa, uh, what other answers can we accept? Okay, saya nak tanya. Siapa yang jawab animal shelter kita terima tak? No. Why not? Because it's more than one word. Hmm. So, um, lesson for today adalah read the instruction. Baca arahan. Kalau dia kata no more than one word, you kena bagi one word saja. So, siapa yang jawab um, animal shelter, you dah buat dua perkataan. Jadi, walaupun ada perkataan shelter, somehow kita tak boleh terima, we cannot accept animal shelter kat sini. Okay? Garden boleh accept tak? Work at a garden. Forest boleh accept tak? Forest apa forest? Hutan. Do you want to help out dekat hutan? Maybe kalau dia adalah hutan simpanan mungkin boleh. But I don't think that's the case here. Okay. So we only accept kalau awak jawab shelter sahaja. Animal clinic tidak ada dalam text as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Um, animal store pun tidak ada dalam text. So we only accept shelter sahaja dan shelter tu boleh tak ada S capital letter? Boleh tak? No. no. Tak no. boleh S capital letter because um, nampak tak ada orang buat S capital letter? It is in the middle of a sentence. Dia ada dekat tengah-tengah uh, ayat. You tak boleh letak S capital letter. Dia mesti S small letter because it is in the middle of a sentence. So in total so jawapan orang lain ni uh, kita tak boleh accept eh. Tapi kalau awak rasa macam teacher, I think yang ni boleh terima. You boleh tahulah. You tell me whether you we want to discuss it. Supaya kita boleh tambah markah awak if let's say you rasa your answer is correct. Kita boleh bincang. We can discuss eh. Okay so one, two, three, four, five, six kot dalam enam orang. Six people eh. Uh, who got the answer correct for number 37. Okay moving on. Tak ada soalan eh setakat ni. Tadi awak rasa macam awak nak tanya ke garden boleh ke tidak? Animal clinic kenapa tak boleh? Do you want to ask anything? No. No eh? Awak terima eh? Shelter. Okay number 38. Moving on to number 38. Number 38 dia kata for senior citizens saya besarkan it is useful to think of ways to what them. So we are going to have a look at siapa yang ada cakap pasal senior citizen. Siapakah orangnya? Senior citizen. Pok Lim lah betul tak? I go to an old folks home. Old folks home adalah rumah orang tua. Senior citizen orang orang tua. Okay, so um, apa jawapan dia kat situ? What is the answer untuk ayat ni? What is the answer for for senior citizens? It is useful to think of ways to to what? Entertain. Okay, so Akila jawab entertain. Mana kita dapat perkataan entertain? Nampak ni? Once in a while, we bring along a guitar to entertain them. Nampak perkataan entertain? Jadi, the answer should have been entertain. Number 38, jawapan dia sepatutnya entertain. Tapi, some people have answered differently. So, itu yang kita nak kena bincang. Okay, entertain. Siapa yang jawab entertain, selamatlah. Entertain dia boleh tak capital letter tiba-tiba? Can we have a capital letter for entertain? No. No. Entertain has to be a small letter, all of it, small letter because it is in the middle of a sentence. Okay, so entertain. Uh, saya akan highlight dulu siapa yang betul, entertain. Uh, if you want uh, me to check you betul ke tidak, you can request. Awak uh, boleh tanya right now, kita boleh check whether you adalah orang yang betul atau tidak. Okay, entertain, entertain. Okay, so tak ramai. Tak ramai yang jawab entertain. So entertain, satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima. Only five people answered entertain. So sekarang kita nak uh, check yang lain-lain ni Um, siapa punya answer yang kita boleh terima eh. Okay kita uh, take out yang yang confirm salah dulu. Can help be an answer? No. Why not? Sebab help tu dia menolong bukan 
Tapi yeah, secara yeah. secara teknikalnya, Felt ni jawapannya boleh terima tak ni? Semua capital letter ni? Oh, no. No. Uh, no. Terus kita tahu dia salah. Okay? Okay, help. Sekarang kita nak bincang help eh. Kita nak cuba masukkan dalam ayat ni. Boleh tak kita terima help? For senior citizens, it is useful to think of ways to help them. For senior citizens, it is useful to think of ways to help them. Pergi dekat hot limb tadi. For senior citizens, it is useful to think of ways to help them. Somehow kan, um, dalam teks hot limb ni, dia tidak ada uh, nak merujuk kepada dia nak menolong uh, secara memberi pertolongan tau. Dia, dia kata volunteer lah, volunteer mungkin lah. Okay but somehow bila kita fikir balik, do you think that your answer should be accepted? Siapa yang jawab help ni awak rasa awak perlu, jawapan awak perlu diterima tak? What do you think? Help. Siapa yang jawab ni? Kejap. Shakila. Okay Shakila has answered help. The rest of you, do you feel like Shakila's answer is correct? Can we come to a consensus? Boleh tak kita decide whether you rasa uh, Shakila's answer should be accepted? Help. For senior citizens, kita tengok balik ayat tadi eh. It is useful to think of ways to help them. Tapi uh, sebenarnya apa yang Hot Lim nak cakap adalah sebab dia sebut bawa gitar tau. Okay. Bawa gitar, menghiburkan mereka. That's why jawapannya adalah entertain. Alright. Tapi kalau awak rasa macam eh, uh, I think help pun betul. You have to tell me right now. What do you think? Can I get a response from you guys? What do you think? Apa pendapat awak? Do you have an opinion? Schema memang cakap entertain lah. In the scheme of answer, um, it says entertain. But some people have answered help eh. So kita tengok lagi ada tak siapa lain yang jawab help. Saya akan letak kuning dulu kat sini. So that Kejap lagi, if we decide, kita boleh decide terus lah. Help. Okay, anything yang start dengan capital letter tak terima. Ada juga orang jawab understand. Helping confirm salah. Sebab, kan ada perkataan to kan tadi kan kat depan. Boleh tak to helping? It is useful to think of ways to helping them. Boleh ke tidak? Can we have to helping? Can I get a response? Is there is there anyone right now yang boleh bagi response to helping kenapa salah? Lepas tu tu tak boleh ada sebab lepas tu tu uh, perkataan dasar tu. Mm -hmm. Itu something yang you dah tahu daripada form berapa dah already eh. It's something that you already know since forever. So after tu tak boleh ada helping kecuali Rasa tu seperti I look forward to meeting you. Ah itu tak apa. Okay. So I I think kita dah discuss benda ni before this. So helping kat sini salah and then uh, ada pula orang yang pergi jawab dalam bentuk uh, C macam ni ni salah. So you have to put the word. Oh kena masukkan perkataan untuk soalan yang nombor 38 ni. Okay. To blissful them, to happily them, to take care of them. Take care of dah confirm salah sebab dia minta one word only. So awak kena masukkan one word only. So do you agree that we stick kepada entertain sahaja? Okay, so kita accept entertain sahaja sebagai jawapan. Help ni, it's not very clear sebab when you when you play guitar, it's it's more of you not entertain the the old folks people. Although actually you are trying to help them. Okay, so um next nanti maybe Shakila you can if you want if you feel like you deserve the mark, tolong um message me personally and kita boleh discuss lah. Okay, so for now kita ambil entertain sahaja eh. Okay, uh, next one adalah number 39. Helping children is also about making them happy. Celebrating birthdays by having is one way to do this. So helping children is about making them happy. Celebrating birthdays by having is one way to do this. By having apa eh? So now we are talking about children. Siapa yang kita nak tengok bila kita talking about children? Uh, 
are we going to look at Shah when we talk about children? Can I get the person first? Awak nak tengok siapa ni dulu? So dia kata kat sini right now you kena dapatkan jawapan for number 39. Helping children is about making them happy. Celebrating birthdays by having is one way to do this. Dia ada sebut perkataan birthday. Most probably Jeremy. Kalau awak tengok dekat Jeremy. For as long as I can remember, I've always been involved in community service, going to children's homes with my parents to organize parties, especially on special occasions. So apa jawapan dia? What's the answer? Number 39. Apa yang awak letak? Parties. Okay, parties eh. Kita kena check juga. Ejaan party ada dua. P-A-R-T-Y ataupun P-A-R-T-I-E-S. Yang mana? The answer key that we have right now is parties yang ada I-E-S. Sebab bila awak bercakap secara general, awak bercakap tentang parti-parti yang akan diadakan. So dia adalah banyak tau. Okay, so kita ambil P-A-R-T-I-E-S. And then we're going to check that right now. Ha, nampak tak? Ada juga orang yang jawab parti satu je. See? Mahfuzah awak jawab parti one only. Ke, ke Taufik ni? I think this one is Taufik lah. Okay, so parties should be with I-E-S. So, so far for now as we can see. Seorang dah betul. Parties. Ada yang jawab parti tanpa I-E-S, that is considered wrong sebab kita bercakap secara general, kita guna plural, kita guna banyak. Cake. Sesuai ke nak masukkan cake kat situ? Cake. Sesuai ke? Cuba tengok balik ayat ni. Perkataan cake tu sesuai ke? Celebrating birthdays by having cake is one way to do this. By having cake. Tapi as you, as we can see, cake kat sini dia letak C-A-K-E capital letter. Tak boleh. We cannot accept pun kalau cake kat sini. How about cake yang small letter ni? Again, kalau awak nak cakap dalam ayat ni, cake awak kena ada S. By having cakes. Sebab awak bercakap secara general. So the only thing that we accept right now adalah parties yang plural. So the answer for this one should be parties plural. Ramai juga yang letak party tanpa IES. So I think better awak follow apa yang ada dalam teks. Dalam teks dia sebut party tu IES tau. Tengok balik dekat Jeremy ni. Party dia ada IES. Jadi saya terfikir juga kenapa awak awak tak tulis macam dia tulis. Kenapa awak tulis P-A-R-T-Y. So ramai yang letak P-A-R-T-Y. We cannot accept lah. By having party satu je. Kita kena buat banyak party. Okay, so parties should be IES kat sini. Okay, ada soalan? Do you have a question? Ada siapa yang nak tanya kenapa and so on? Ada juga orang yang salah eja parti ha, parties. So, salah ejaan tiada compromise. Okay, so party should be P-A-R-T-I-E-S. Um, huruf kecil. Small letter. Okay, clear eh kat situ eh. So for now kita ada untuk question number 39, 1, 2, 3, 5 people who got it correct out of 24. 5 per 24. Okay never mind. Lepas ni awak try yang exam form 4 kita tengok whether you can get a better score. Okay next question adalah question terakhir. Question number 40. Try not to think too big. Do something that will make the lives of the needy more and happy. More apa? Yang sesuai. Try not to think too big. Do something that will make the lives of the needy more and happy. Apa yang sesuai ni? Where do we, where do you take your answer from? The word should be somewhere in the text eh. Perkataan tu perlu ada dalam teks. Okay, so I'm gonna just go here. Perkataan mana yang kita boleh terima? Which word can we accept? Kita tengok uh, skema dahulu eh. We're gonna look at the scheme of answer first. Lepas tu baru kita bincang mana lagi perkataan yang sepatutnya boleh terima. So number 40, scheme of answer. Do you remember your own answer? Ingat tak jawapan awak apa? What did you answer for number 40? Tak ingat eh? Okay. Ya, yeah, meaningful adalah skema. 
Meaningful adalah sama dengan skema jawapan. Okay. So kat mana kita ambil perkataan meaningful? Meaningful ni maksud dia bermakna. Bermakna. So where do you take the word meaningful from? Uh, let's just see. Adakah dekat Julie? Kok Lim? Emilia? Jeremy? Where? Where is the word meaningful? Siapa boleh beritahu saya? Ada juga orang yang jawab compassionate tapi dia tak masuk tau. Compassionate doesn't fit in the sentence sebab sentence-nya adalah just now. The sentence is try not to think too big. Do something that will make the lives of the needy more meaningful. Lebih bermakna. Jadikan kehidupan mereka lebih bermakna. So I've got one person here who answered meaningful. Kalau awak nak jadikan hidup mereka lebih bersimpati sesuai tak? Compassionate sesuai tak? Lebih disimpati, lebih sesuai untuk awak rasa simpati, compassionate, tak sesuai eh? Compassionate salah, memory salah, more memories, no. Kalau awak nak guna sekalipun, you sepatutnya letak more memorable mungkin sesuai. More peace, sepatutnya more peaceful. Okay, so semua yang awak letak kat sini, uh, somehow we cannot accept. And then the only thing that we accept adalah meaningful, meaningful. More cheerful. Sebenarnya mungkin boleh terima tapi C sepatutnya C ke C. Okay. Okay more cheerful. Tapi kita kena check juga perkataan cheerful. Kenapa ia just cheerful macam ni? Ya Allah. Okay cheerful ada tak dalam teks? Is the word cheerful in the text? Siapa yang jawab cheerful you have to check. Ada tak perkataan cheerful dalam teks? Kalau tidak ada tidak boleh diterima eh. Is the word cheerful in the text? Can anyone tell me? Yes or no? Somehow setakat yang kita tengok right now, I don't see the word cheerful. Tapi kalau awak nampak, you please tell me. Eh. Do we see the word cheerful? Tak ada. So you tak boleh create your own um answer tau. It has to be from the text. So cheerful, cheerful, siapa yang jawab cheerful ni we cannot accept. So the only thing yang kita boleh accept right now adalah meaningful. Meaningful. Ya, yeah, meaningful sahaja. Kalau awak nak guna perkataan enjoy sekalipun, you should have put more enjoyable. Dan kena check. Dalam teks ada tak perkataan enjoyable? Okay. So for question number 40 is very clear cut. Hanya meaningful sahaja yang diterima. Okay, ada soalan. Do we have any questions so far? Tak ada eh. So for now, I guess kita kena stick dengan the, the, um, Skor yang saya dah bagi kat awak. Actually skor ni kita derive daripada Google Form. Yang saya nak discuss with you tadi adalah kalau ada sesiapa yang jawapan dia kita nak terima. But so far kita tak ada bagi jawap, uh, markah barulah kepada anyone. So the score remains. Skor yang uh, Google Form bagi ni remain. Awak sendiri dah tengok dia punya validity. Banyak yang kita salah kerana masalah technical. Okay. The problem was with technical problem. So whatever score yang ada kat sini, that is the score that is going to be counted for your mid-year exam. Okay, dah tak payah fikir yang yang the the previous exam. I think after this, saya akan bagi awak form 4 punya uh, reading reading examination. Um, I will try to take it from budak form 4 account punya. Nanti saya buat copy satu. So the same thing, awak cuba untuk jawab balik semula. Hari ini I want um, everyone to respond and get a score. If possible, hari ini juga. Please use the same strategy eh. Pakai strategi yang sama. If let's say the question asks you to put a letter, awak masukkan letter. But if let's say the the question asks you to put a word, soalan minta word daripada awak, awak letak aja perkataan word tu. And if it's in the middle of a sentence, jangan letak capital letter. Confirm salah jawapan awak. Okay. Any questions so far? Ada soalan tak? Before we end this session and I'm going to give you the uh, reading paper for media exam form 4. Ada soalan tak? Do you have a question? Tak ada eh? Okay so I guess um, saya dah, saya akan terus bagi awak uh, examination form 4. Saya nak awak buat sekarang because my lesson is supposed to uh, stop at 1.50 tau. English berakhir pada pukul 1.50. So before 1.50, 
Boleh tak awak cuba dapatkan skor tu? Can you try and get a score untuk reading paper? Kalau lepas daripada 150 pun tak apa, as long as you try. Sekurang-kurangnya awak cuba untuk gunakan masa ni untuk jawab reading uh, exam paper. Itu adalah reading exam paper untuk form 4. Saya akan bagi sekarang. Okay. Any question before I give you the the the, the exam paper? Ada soalan tak? No. Jelas eh? Jelas eh how to answer. So uh, after today saya akan derive score tu daripada Google Form. Kita akan tengoklah adakah awak punya markah meningkat setelah awak dah tahu strateginya macam mana. Okay so buat sekarang tau. I'm going to give you right now. Okay I'll end this Google Meet session and you refer to your Telegram group untuk dapatkan reading paper tersebut. Okay Assalamualaikum and thank you very much everyone. Waalaikumsalam Okay jangan buat uh, kerja lain eh Do not do something else Tunggu saya bagi exam paper untuk form 4 Awak terus jawab exam form 4 Kita tak perlu procrastinate anymore Kita nak tahu sama ada we can get a better score atau tidak Okay jangan buat kerja lain eh Okay, that's the end of my Google Meet. Say so stop recording dulu.